everything wrong with WWE 2K16 in under 6 minutes. There are several bugs and glitches throughout the whole game. I feel like the team behind this game has spent their whole career making this game and it's never flawless. Cody Rhodes is not in this game, but Paul White and Lord Steven Regal are. Makes sense. They never plan to put the NXT Divas in the game, but they have plans to put a TNA star who debuted in May for DLC. Even a fictional character in a movie franchise is higher priority than NXT's biggest female stars in the past two years. They're always a year or two behind putting new Divas in the game, and the story is different each year. Stephanie McMahon is a playable wrestler. She last wrestled over a year ago. At this rate, Asuka will be 40 by the time she is put in the game. The fact that Carmella doesn't even appear with Enzo and Colin Cassidy is wrong. 2K are such self-absorbed bigots. Yes, that's something wrong in of itself. According to 2K, fans have long clamored for Santino Morella, Honky Tonk Man and Mike Whitrick. While Stone Cold has wrestled guys like Mikey Whitrick and Savio Vega, you don't even wrestle them in showcase mode. They replace Mike Tyson from WrestleMania 18 with an unnamed model, yet commentary make references to Tyson during random matches. Most of the roster from WWE 2K15 was just thrown into 2K16 unchanged. Summer Eddie has worn the same purple outfit for the third year in a row. They just quickly edited Paige's hair instead of just giving her a new hairstyle. There are two wrestlers with Mustafa in their name. Like that won't confuse anybody. They were so lazy that they didn't even change Colonel Mustafa to his more popular alias, the Iron Shake. Sitting opponents is a new gameplay mechanic this year. Actually, it was last used in No Mercy. Xavier Woods still doesn't have his kneeling reverse STO. Ricky's high second game appearance in four years and still no pop-up cutter. Edge and Christian have been in the game together for years and still no stack superplex. Bray Wyatt still doesn't have his crab walk as a taunt. They discontinued the create a move feature and didn't bother to add some of those animations to normal moves. Paige's knee strikes on the apron look so horrible and she does them on the wrong side of the opponent. You can only use striking combinations as signatures and finishers. You still can't have electric chair moves as signatures or finishers. You still can't have the suplex to DDT move as a signature or finisher. They added a new Impaler DDT, and it's not even a DDT. If you use the Poisoned Mist or Hard Punch as a signature move, you can't transition it into a finisher. They haven't reanimated either of the Tornado DDTs from the corner since 2005. The Triangle Choke Head Bump move was done by Eve Torres in 2012. Four years and three Divas who used it later, still not in the game. They tout how you are free to make any kind of wrestler imaginable, yet you're not allowed to wrestle in jackets, capes or hats. Even though there are no entrances in online mode, you just can't. You're not even allowed to wrestle with a bandana on. There goes my Gregory Helms mid-2000s ca. It's 2015 and many of the ca parts still look like paper. There aren't even any boxing gloves. I hope my boxer ca likes red rabbit paws. You can alter pretty much every body part on you ca, except for his neck. You still can't add any fucking body hair, yet plenty of stars in the game have body hair. They pretty much expect you to upload your own tattoos and body hair. The face deformation tool is terrible. The face import tool is broken and you have to start all over if you mess up. Online mode still sucks, and I'm not even talking about the lag. You have a percent chance of performing a reversal, even if you have one available. If an opponent is stomping on you and you try to reverse it, your wrestler sometimes does nothing and wastes it. Every opponent online is a level 100 super ca. They made no effort to make online balanced so that wrestlers I want to play as are up to snuff. When an opponent with a super ca quits and is replaced with AI, they will still kick out after multiple finishers. I'm more likely to win the match doing a normal pin. I try to throw a punch and it takes 5 seconds to actually land. When a punch makes contact with my opponent, it doesn't even count because he's in the middle of doing a grapple on me. There are absolutely zero benefits to the stamina system. 
you can still spam this spear in the running DDT after many times they said they fixed it. A wrestling game in 2015 can't have an interactive camera feature but a Batman game can. My car in my career mode is a heel, yet my first few opponents are also heels. No six man in fall battle royals. Royal Rumble has been the same for six years now. They don't even bother adding new mechanics or animations. You can no longer simply throw an opponent through a table like you used to. They paid a fortune for ear shattering, unfitting music. When you switch to an app and go back into the game, two different songs will play at once. You can download a total of 1000 logos, yet you can only share 5 at the start and 20 at the end. Yep. Nothing says creative freedom like taking down Hogan causing community creations. Sometimes the game won't respond after downloading a wrestler until you press the home button. I'm not able to share logos since the second week I started playing. 